big rocket. Doesn't seem that bad. Translation, rocket don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably going to encounter things we don't like. True, but nothing as much as little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start now. on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you. He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? Fear the almighty Star-Lord. You say something? Uh, nope. doing all the way down here. The priests call it Buro, giver of life and life. In our case, I'd settle for some shelter. <laughs> hey, Groot, can you get me up there? If I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> How about a hand? Right I hope here. you're not just... Yep, I'll do it. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind and focus on saving Drax? He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't... That's why they call me Star-Lord. So this Jack Beanstalk guy, is that an Earth hero? Kinda. Basically, he plants some magic beans and they grow into this giant plant, which, obviously, he climbs. You don't know where to get magic beans, you big galoot. 
Crossing. Says no way, not without me. Glad someone's got my back. There are timelines in which Little Fuzzy moves mountains for you. In this one, you must block an ocean for him. Ocean? Really? To him? Yes. Can't believe that works. Half work. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. Right, I'm on it. Let my rocket go! Huh? The Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Mark the Seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure he had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rock. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. This cramped corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. But what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. Guys. seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am Groot. No, I don't gotta tell him. Oh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark, I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. Sure, that's the right way, Peter. I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you. Even better. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our fins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Mini's mind. We can double back along Groot's path and then try to find the exit. Oh boy, this place is so creepy. Remember the deal, Quill. You find anything shiny, we split it. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with Little Miss Cryptic? At least it seems less dark through here and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those flognards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QC. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. Rocket's right. I don't know how it's possible, but I'll never forget that squidgy sound. It's the sound of wet eyeballs hitting the ground.
It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacore. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's definitely those jellies from Seknar. I can hear their spiky things shooting out.
fighting them. Ugh. Shatari. I know it is. They sound like all the flark and scut bags that have tried to kill us recently. And about what? There's a new way out? So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Every time we name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was quiet? Yeah, quite like that. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense? This fog monster can make bad things appear. Maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure tracks, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Let me guess. Further down. Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Bog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay. This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. And I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly. And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. 
or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us, and that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your best speeches. Talk about bad breath! We gotta do something to shut its trap! Please just save Drax already. Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as Flark didn't get all wet for nothing. Pretty sure 
sure we'd find it somewhere down here. Now you know what we're looking for. Something sad and sulky, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us to something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catapian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? I heard you make that speech so many times. And then Gamora says something like, We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Oh, yes, it was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of... What the... Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Foolish followers. Think fast, beard butt! How the... You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! You cannot quell a god! Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No, wait, Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Oh. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your mind. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? I am 
Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him. Then we can get him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of uh, I'm not the only one that hears that, right? No. Thanos. We got a runner. After his spotlight. I don't know this part. Tracks. Whoa, okay. That's a long way down. I don't think that matters here. Ladies first? Rank before gender. Drax! A leader does not linger. I don't see you jumping. Nor does he deflect. Please be something soft! <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, hey Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. Fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I'd remember there being two of him. Twice the ugly, twice the target practice. Hey, Goldie, don't before you want to lend a hand. You fight a phantom. We are given form. It is a futile foray. You're giving in to four greenies. Just keep this up, can he? This is all in Jack's mind, remember? Heads up! Fortune favors failure. Is that supposed to mean something to us? Okay, maybe this isn't as simple as I thought. It never is! I'm open to suggestions! I got all these toys, I'm just dying for you! Oh, crap! Um, how many times have I saved your butt now? I thought I 
it's not looking so hot! Hey, Kim! Hey, what's happening? That's it! That's why I couldn't see! Oh. <sighs> hey, we ain't dead. Mantis, I think we did something, but I don't see Drax. Oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up. Look. I bet I can beat you to the center. <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax, wait up! <laughs> there he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. Chance to have his family back. No wonder Drax couldn't reject the promise. Hey, that's cheating! I get the impression something doesn't want us to reach Drax. <laughs> Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax. Father. I've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <sighs> Papa? Are you alright? What is that? Yes, little one. Mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! He's not in Kansas anymore. Clark are those! Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! Prepare to be 
Whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. Is that? Drax's wife. I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big luck. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. This charade. Cover your eye holes. Not good. I am Groot. Flarkin nowhere is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothing. Not helping. Hobo wizard. Alright, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward or whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Drax! Come on, buddy. I know you can hear me. This ain't flarkin' funny. I know you're in a dark place. There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us. I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is an ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drag, Slav. It is time to eat. Look, I get it, man. They seem 
really special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat was the most fearless mate I've ever known. She brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it... I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had. And not resent the time that we lost. And honor you both. Always. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Pure Quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me.
time to go.